Hello, and welcome to Minecraft. Uh, I realize pretty much everyone else in the entire world has done Minecraft videos and Minecraft series, but I'm going to do it too. Um, a lot of people have been moving towards TechIt uh, and other mod packs like the Yogg Box, and so I thought a bit of vanilla Minecraft might be a refreshing change to all of you. So, uh, my name is JD. I will be known as the Arbiter, I believe. Um, and this is just the pilot video for a group YouTube channel, me and a bunch of my friends, uh, a while back, over summer vacation, so two months ago. Uh, my friend said, why don't we make a YouTube channel? And it's taken us this long to get around to doing it, but I finally made it. Um, you should definitely check us out. We're going to be a big variety show. I will personally be starring in Minecraft, Starcraft, uh, and some NES with uh, another friend of mine. He doesn't have a capture card yet, so he will be appearing in some of my Minecraft videos as soon as I get a server up. So yeah, that's, um, that's the basics of the server. Now what we have here is a uh, flat world, spawned it in today, and I made this sort of keep, castle, just a little dark mage tower, um, using texture pack, uh, customized version of Dokacraft Dark. Um, this is stone, gray wool, oak, I've got iron bars, iron doors, mossy cobble, some minimal torches, and some fences, and that's my basic palette. I've also got these ladders, because I built these walls and realized there was no way to get up them. So, you improvise. And what I'm going to be doing with most of my videos on Minecraft is explaining mega building. Uh, this isn't a mega build. This is a relatively small scale. It took me a couple of hours, because I'm working alone, but... I feel that it it gives um, enough of a reference point for you guys to see what I'm talking about. There's a lot of channels out there. Fire UK, um, Toby One Kenobi, people like them who do mega builds. And they make these beautiful chapels and temples and all sorts of places. And we look at them in awe and go... I want to do that, and when we when we load up Minecraft, we, we spawn in all of our items, we have world edit, just like Tobias said we should, and then we make something, and it doesn't look anything near as good as what uh, the YouTubers are making, and I try, I this happened to me, and I went, huh, well, but I, I like art. I've, I, this is, this is me, I know what I'm doing, and it just didn't look as good. And I think it was because I didn't quite understand how to mega build and what mega building was. So my mission with this series is to explain mega building, basics, advanced techniques, and the stuff you should be doing uh, in order to make your buildings look nice, because in the end, that's what we want. So here, I have um, just some walls and a tower, and personally, I think it looks quite nice. Uh, I was playing around with these stepped outer walls, and then inner walls that are just plain old, you know, walk around the top, got iron bars, the classic... Um, I don't know what you call these. These blocks. Uh, I don't know. Look like Lego pieces. Uh, so it's sort of a classic dark mage tower. So yeah. Um, the first things you want to do with any mega build, or any build really, is form an idea in your head of what you want it to look like. And the, fi the final product. What do you, how, do, how do you want it to appear? Um, 
I wanted this to be sort of imposing. Um, a normal person wouldn't live here. You, This is a place where a reclusive person would live to practice hidden magics and all manner of abnormal things. Um, so I designed it with that in mind. The, uh, these sort of spiked outer walls jutting up with iron bars everywhere. Iron doors, because iron doors are just annoying in Minecraft. You have to press the stupid button, and then you have to run in before it closes on you. Using Dokucraft Dark, like I said before, which has these very subdued colors, there's no real saturation. If, if you look at all the wools, pink wool is kind of saturated. These lighter colors, but grays and cyan, purple, all this stuff, this is very uh, unsaturated, very gray on the color wheel. And that's what I wanted. Which brings us to the next subject. Choose your texture pack before you start the build. It doesn't matter what texture pack you're on, um, although I wouldn't suggest doing Dokucraft High if you want a demon's dungeon. Um, but make sure that once you start the build, whatever texture pack it is that you're using, you stay in that texture pack. Because, you know, this is very dark. Normal stone is two or three shades lighter than this. Uh, normal oak wood is much lighter than that. So, whatever texture pack you're using very greatly affects the final look of the piece. And the third thing you should do is decide your block palette. I'm using some pretty simple stuff, mostly stone. Um, second most commonly used is probably iron bars. Um, got some iron doors, plenty of closed off, if I, just let me set the time to night. It's very dark in here, there's not a lot of light. If you go into the tower, it's just lit up enough that you can see. And I'm playing on full brightness, I'm, I, I hate brightness, moody, it, it's annoying, you can't see anything, and then creepers kill you. <clears throat> so yeah, you, um, it's got the right feel, I think, for a dark mage tower. Anyway, brush palettes. Um, block palettes, not brushes. Why is there no torch here? There. Uh, you should choose a fairly simple palette, I think. Don't go overboard with the number of blocks you're going to use. If you try and have a million different blocks, it's just going to look like a rainbow vomited into your Minecraft world. We don't want that. So yeah, I just used very similar colors. Uh, gray base tone. These iron bars are a little lighter than I'd like them, but it looks fine. Um, you actually can walk inside these walls little bit of lag there. Uh, you can walk inside here. I will probably put some tunnels underneath around here. Uh, put down a torch so I can see where I'm going. You know, just a little tunnel underneath it. Have a trapdoor go in. Let's see, other things about building. Um, covered, ah, motifs, yes, that's the next thing, motifs. Mo a motif is a repeated design that is prevalent throughout an entire piece. And here it's these iron bars. Uh, you see them on the outer wall, you see them on the inner wall, and you see them not as much, but they're still there on the walls of the tower. Motifs are what keep your piece cohesive as one unit, 
keeps it all together, and it's generally what makes something look like something. Uh, I don't know quite how to explain it, but when you look at this, you immediately recognize this is imposing. This is a big, uh, dark tower. I, I, this is not a place you would go on summer vacation. This is a very serious, get down to business, do magic, do work. Not always ethical. Um, not always considering the full consequences. It's it's very imposing. Uh, I've used the word imposing so many times I can't even count. So I'm going to try and be less repetitive. That is our goal for this episode. Yeah, uh, it's the motifs that allow you to recognize a castle as a castle, and a dungeon as a dungeon, and they define how the piece is really going to imprint first impression on your viewers. There's several motifs at work here. I've already mentioned the iron bars, but there's also this sweeping, um, jagged, oh, mountain-like bit on the outer wall. And then there are these uh, windows, ledges really. They're supposed to be ledges. Um, I was going to uh, put a little fence outside, uh, but I don't, I don't know if I like the feel of it. If you can see, I was going to put a fence like that. Let me just head inside. Really bad lag here. Sorry about that. There we go. Much better. Uh, so I was going to have little fences like this so that you can't fall off and so that it looks a bit more like a balcony. I don't know if I like the way that looks, I might try it. I'll play around with it for a little. Anyway, make sure you have something repeatable, something simple, something that your viewers can find and recognize as a pattern. The human brain is all about pattern recognition. That's how they determine IQ, although I don't I don't know if I really trust IQ tests. It's very 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 hard to measure the intelligence of something. But, you know, for people who people who take those sorts of tests, it's usually about pattern recognition. They can't just test your knowledge cuz anyone can memorize. Um intelligence is a more intelligent person will memorize it faster, but anyone can memorize it. Yeah, well, you basically, you've got your idea, you've got your palette, you've got your texture pack, and you've started building, and you've got some repeatable motifs that are going to make your piece look really, really nice. Uh, be very appealing to the eye. Um... And those are the really, just the core basics of any sort of build that you want to be doing. It, because those are the sorts of things that are going to make it look good. And in the end, you want it to look good to you. So it's Minecraft, you're gonna, if you're doing this in survival, it's probably going to be your house that you're building, so it's where you have to live. You don't spend a lot of time there, but it's where you go to sleep at night. It's where you stay in, and I always have mines in the basements of my houses. I don't know about any of you out there, but uh, I haven't played survival in a while. I might be doing a series about that, although it feels kind of cheesy, but cause a lot of people do survival Let's Plays. Never quite understood the Let's Play from Minecraft. It's like, you punch a tree, you punch some dirt, make a hole, don't get blown up. I guess you have to be funny to do them. Yeah, I think, um, I think that's it for 
the mega building aspect of this video. I'm just going to do a little more administrative stuff. Um, you guys should expect more videos coming out soon. Like I said, this is the pilot video. Uh, that should be going up at around 10 p.m. Uh, Pacific time. Um, although, it may come out tomorrow, which makes absolutely no sense uh, for you guys watching this. It will come out Monday the somethingeth uh, at around 10 p.m. Or it will come out Tuesday the somethingeth at 4 p.m. Something like that. Whenever it is I get home from school. Um, it should be... The next video coming up should probably be a StarCraft video. Uh, which will be me and my friend RC uh, will be reviewing some games that we played against each other. We're both newbies in the Bronze League, but we're higher up in the Bronze League. It's uh, StarCraft is a lovely game. It's a very, very hard game. If any of you have ever tried to play it uh, competitively in any way, not not tournaments, but the leagues themselves. You know, you can have, you can be doing everything right, and then you make one unit wrong. You have one wrong unit in your build order, or you miss a pylon or a supply deep or whatever race it is you play, and you, j or you just get killed by someone who's mucking around with a cheese, just get six pooled or. 16 racks. I don't know how my friend does that, but he goes 16 racks on two bases. If, you, if any of you have played StarCraft, you know what I'm talking about. If any of you haven't, disregard it. So yeah, uh, that's all for tonight. See you next time.